Hello everybody, how's it going today? Super Fiend here, and welcome back to our legendary Silastra Direfin uh, Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires campaign. And we're doing good, we're doing good. Other than this rebellion over here at Maku Peaks, which I don't think will assault the town quite yet. Because uh, it's Skaven, they're somewhat depleted. We do have a garrison, so we're looking good there. We have the entirety of Northern Jungles of Pahualaxa and the Southern Jungles of Pahualaxa. And we got a lot of building we can do, but we don't have a whole lot of money to do it with. Uh, we can go ahead and get rid of that. It's just telling us that we're going to have a rebellion where we already have a rebellion. And then we have, uh, we have a gunnery white that has just been recruited. Um... Let's see. You know what? Let's let's take this guy. We'll come in here, and then we'll come this way, and we'll go explore the Ziggurat of Dawn. Uh, we're going to take this one, and we'll come down this way, and we'll keep an eye on the Blue Vipers, okay? Because they're, they're starting to grow in strength again. We don't want them to get out of hand. Uh, let's see. Who are they at war with? Clan Na, Blue Vipers, and Skeggy. You know what? I am completely happy to have no confrontation with um, Mazda Mundi. So, maybe if we just, like, sweeten the deal a little bit. Come on. I, I just, I don't want to end up at war with you. Still low, huh? Oh, no. That was demand payment. Uh, how high do I have to go to get you to agree to this? Uh, 15? 22? That's kind of high. Is he going to take it? Mm. Okay, well, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I guess what we Which could do, deity protects you. we it could like declare here. war on these guys. Um, but I don't want to do that without seeing what kind of armies they have. But like if we were to do this, uh, non-aggression, join war against Gegi, like that might work. But, you know, I, I just, I don't know. Uh, also, so this is Hexwaddle, Skeggy, Ziggurat of... Dawn and Fallen Gates, which I think is this one. I think it's right there. Yeah. Join me. Uh, in the meantime, what we're going to do is... Hmm. What do I want to do with her? Uh, we need to get rid of this rebellion, okay? So we're going to... We're just going to cruise down this way. Get rid of the rebellion. Scout with these guys. Uh, scout with them. Keep an eye on the blue vipers. I'm not going to spend any money right now, I don't think. Uh, let me see. Do we have our pirate cove? That was one of the things we tried to get done last episode. There it is. We're getting 600 per turn from pirate cove income. Look at that. Plus 548. Should be higher. Uh, anyways. Well, hmm. looking at that. Okay, you know what? Port Reaver is questionable because Skeggy and Hexwaddle, they may they may like come down here and decide they don't like us. Um We have one popular oh boy. We have four turns until we can build uh towers there. And then of course we have our settlement down here. Uh you know what? Let's Let's start this here. Let's get the garrison and the walls and stuff in the floating pyramid. I think that's a priority, right? That and making sure that we don't lose Maku Peaks.
There are a lot of factions in Mortal Empires. And, um, you know, so we want to we wanna get this rebellion out of here. I really want to go get the Skull Reef. And I want to perform agent actions with um, our two heroes that are, like, loose and free-floating. And the reason for that is I want to get them leveled up so that we can establish more pirate coves. Especially this one right here, the Vampire Fleet Captain. Okay, and then now we're also faced with a rebellion down here. So, that's fine. Uh, we'll come here, clear these guys out. Okay, we can auto resist. No? Seriously? Okay, well, I guess we gotta fight it. They, they grew in strength. <laughs> They got like six new units added to them. Pretty sure we could do this, especially with our summoned units. You know, they have a little bit of missiles, but our, our artillery, especially the mortar, is just going to send these guys in all directions. And then they're basically a bunch of clan rats. Our garrison's over here. So we'll... uh. I guess right there with the cannon. Right there with the mortar. Uh, we'll start deployment. We're not going to gamble that. Okay, so we got to keep in mind with the Skaven that they may be able to summon units on us. And so let's do uh, this. This, this, this. This, this, this. This will be our front line. Okay. Put those guys there. These guys there. That looks good. Okay, Silostra. Let's go harass the Skaven. Okay, let's send these guys. Put these guys out in front, like right here. So they don't want to mess with us. They're just going to hang tight back there. Let's look for a nice, suitable target. Where is the map edge? So if we charge these guys, like straight into um, all this stuff right here. Okay, let's see if we can do this. If we can break these guys, they'll go straight off the map. And we'll get rid of some of their units that way. Okay, aiming for the uh, slingers. We're going to take a little bit of damage on the way in. Uh, now we'll redirect onto this unit of night runners. Clan rats, come on, get in there. Smash them. Break the morale. Are we doing it? Warp Lightning. Yeah, okay. We might need to move up with our whole force. Okay, so that was kind of a waste of those guys. That's fine. As soon as we move up with our artillery, they'll come down. As soon as the mortar starts hitting them. Okay, this is going to take a little bit to get ourselves set up.
Come on. Just waiting on the artillery to get in the position. It's uh, almost there. Okay, they're moving a little bit. Artillery is still moving. Can we hit these guys yet? Ah, we're just a little bit out of range. Okay, so we'll... Uh, we'll come up here. Speed it up all the way. I thought I had it on the faster... Um, fast forward when I was moving over here so it took a little bit longer than it should have but oh well oh well come on you dirty rats now as much as possible we want to take casualties um, in our garrison okay so that's why I have mostly the uh, the garrison troops are out front Ooh, we got some cannon fire. Okay, good. Here they come. That's what I wanted to see. Now, where's their lord in all this big pile of rats? And we'll just hit the clan rats with spears. Okay, they're leading with their uh, missile units. So we'll get our knight, our cavalry ready. And we should be able to go down here and hit this stuff no problem. And we'll tie up all this stuff with our, our other summon. Okay, so let's get on the uh, the night runners. Just want to stay on them. Tie these guys up here. Come on, keep it coming, keep it coming. Big warp lightning there. It's it's hard to believe that they are literally outrunning our cavalry, but that's uh, Skaven and their poison for you. Okay, we finally caught them down there. Doing okay over here. These guys are going to break pretty quick. Got other missile units over here. Not a problem. Yeah, let's just... Let's just stay on them. Get them off the map. If we can. Got a breath attack here. We'll just send it right down this whole flank. Okay, we're doing good over here. Okay, this stuff's not broken yet. Sends Zylostra in. Those guys are still broken down there. And really, it's our garrison that's taken all the damage, right? Just their garrison so far. Okay, let's bring these guys down this way. Get all this stuff in here. We'll keep our summon. Our crabs up there. Okay, we're pretty much out of our Winds of Magic. Okay, you got Warp Lightning coming down over there. Let's start working on these Night Runners. Okay, break those if we can. Uh, let's get on the Clan Rats with Spears. Nothing else is taking damage. It's just all of our garrison and summoned units. So we're still doing really good here. Although these uh, rotting Prometheans are about to break. We're going to lose them. Okay. So now let's take Silostra 
and our paladin bring him back here and the skaven can charge into our second wave and we'll just do you know what little damage we can with these guys here okay let's see let's start with the mortar we'll shoot that with the cannon we'll shoot this here come our lords our lord and hero combination we'll shoot the clan rats with the spears come on debuff and just get right here in this firing arc shoot these guys down shoot the lord there you go charge in so the skaven are all tied up over there these guys will flee soon i think we bring these guys in here okay Need these guys to break. We'll retarget our mortar over there. Their lord is not yet broken. No more winds of magic. These guys are finally going to break here. Okay, so I think we move up with these guys. Okay, see if we can catch these guys here. Yeah, their lord's taking a beating with the missile fire. These guys are holding up really well. A lot better than I expected. Oh, uh, we got night runners with slings back there. Where's their lord at? Right there. We'll keep shooting him. And we'll charge in now on these guys. Keep Silostra and our paladin busy. Those guys, they, they came back, but now they're gone. Okay, yeah, this stuff's gonna get free in a minute. So let's start hitting that. Hit that out there. Pull these guys back, protect the flank. This stuff's almost shattered. These guys are gonna break real fast. Yeah, they're starting to shatter across the board. And that'll do it. So our garrison has been utterly demolished. Tiny Tim reigns. <laughs> uh, but Silostra only lost three units in her army. So we'll be able to push forward because uh, these guys will pop off the settlement. We'll be able to push forward, uh, finish them off. We'll get money for that, of course. And I think infamy as well. I think you get infamy with every battle, although I'm not certain. What we really need is more artillery. I want some more artillery there. And I want some cannons and I want some mortars. Because uh, they are good units. Now we've got some good armor. Oh, that took care of them entirely. That was good. We got more mileage out of that than I thought we would. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Frostbite attacks. Uh, we did some blue line abilities because I really thought we would be like assassinating and assaulting units. But since this guy's in, in the army with us, let's just get him a little bit tougher um, for whatever this happens to be. I don't, I don't know what we're going to get with that. Uh, Skeggy... We got a 49 and 6. I think I'd rather just come up through here. And um, go explore that. Okay, and then uh, with her. Well, let's see. We got to keep an eye on these guys, okay? And she can assault units, so that's what we'll do. If they come near us... You know, we'll assault units. 
3,200. We should. Oh, we're going to have a rebellion down here, right? Yeah. Okay. So we want to go and do a forced march. Unless. Ooh. Okay. Uh, we have seven population. We got walls. Okay. This will cost most of our money. Uh, but we can get the carronades and mortars. Or we could get sirens. Because we... Uh, do we still have a unit of sirens? Yeah, we um, Yeah, we do. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm just thinking having these... Having ethereal units would be a lot better for our battle line. But the artillery is, like, so attractive. Um, and what else? This is purely recruitment. No other bonuses. Ooh. This gives us an army ability. Uh, grape Shot and Pounders. Uh, Zuffbar 42 Pounders. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, let's go with this one because it gives us the army ability and uh, we could fit these units in. All of these things here like, are kind of expensive upkeep. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take her. Okay, we're going to force march. Uh, we're going to upgrade that stuff uh, after we take care of this rebellion is the order that we're going to do. And we're not going to spend any money because we just want to make sure that we have plenty. And... Yeah, I think that's I think that's the smart way to do this. I would like to get a non-aggression pack with them. I don't remember trespassing against them. Don't remember doing that. Okay. Well, maybe they're going to go and try to take this. Good luck with that. Hex Waddle's got a really good garrison in there. So I don't think these guys are going to be able to take it. And then look, boom, he's he's like, he's right back. So they're going to turn around. They're just going to be like, no thanks. They're going to run off. If they're smart, that's what they would do. Those opportunistic little buggers. Well. Uh, okay. Man, I hope they don't get this Skull Reef. I hope they don't run down there and get that. That sucks. That's okay. I mean, it's not a big deal. And that's why I didn't spend any money building that up. Although, Swamp Town is now in danger. Darn. Putzes. Get going. All right. So, anyways. Oh, we uh, we got this. So we got a potion of speed. Silostra's balcony. And this is where. Okay. So now they're gonna come over here. They're gonna take this, and then now we'll have to go to the war with Mazda Mooney to complete our province. That's probably what's going to happen. Okay, we're going to get that. And we got plenty of money, so we'll go ahead and search the runes. Oh, I hate this one. Um... Okay, so you have to imagine that this is right side up. 
and then you turn the outer dial so that they line up. So that would put these red ones like here and there, like, like these two red lines would be like right here. And this one pretty much goes out and over one. So it would like go out and over one. So it's going to be like, it's, it's going to need to have like this and this or this and this. Okay, so the only one, the only ones with the square uh, don't have this thing. Okay, the only ones with the square don't have that thing or this thing. So I don't think these are it. So which one would it be this? I hate this puzzle. Um, where is this at? Okay, that's up there. And then this, and then the little arrow way over there. And then this is, where is this? This is so dumb to waste all this time on this. It's right up there. And then the three waves, and then um, this over here. So, like, when you turn this so that the red, the, the two red dots, okay, the two red, the two red lines have to match up with this. So then, oh, so these ones wouldn't line up then is what it is. Okay, so if we turn that, okay, so the red is out. Okay, it's not going to be the red. Maybe it's the blue. So if this was like pointed off this way and then it went up. So like this one, I'm, I'm just going to guess this. That, that is such a dumb puzzle to put in the game because like you can solve it, but you have to take a screenshot and go into like Photoshop or GIMP and, and fart around with it in there and then like spin the dials and say, it's so dumb. That, that's prob that's probably the worst part about the whole DLC is that creative assembly put something as asinine as that in. It's just so stupid. Uh, anyways. I don't want to spend this money to upgrade this when they have a full stack here. Boots. Okay. We're going to have to come down here and take care of them. And then up here, we'll do specialists so that it doesn't cost us a lot of money to do those upgrades. Yeah. Okay. So things are getting interesting. We got war with the Skeggy. They're going to come down this way. Uh, they are strong enough to basically take this whole effing province from me. Uh, and then we got the blue vipers who are down here. Okay, so let's see. The uh, followers of Nagash have declared war on the Vampire Coast. And we have a population surplus in the northern jungles of Pahwalaksa. Pahwalaksa. I hope those guys don't become hostile towards us. Okay. Do we want major diplomatic penalties with Hexwaddle? And a boost to our treasure? Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We're going to end up at war with them because they're going to come down here. They're going to take this. Oh, we got another imminent rebellion up here. Gosh, darn it. Yes, my pretty. What'd these guys end up doing? Let's uh let's try to assault units here. 51 and 4. Come on, just Yes, give us the success. That's what we needed. Um we're gonna do specialist. We can recruit down here. Alright, let's take care of this. Very good.
Okay, so Hexwaddle is like really unhappy with us now. We have an imminent rebellion up here. So the smart thing really is to come back this way. But then we might not be able to get down here in time. These guys are going to come down here. Oh, boy. Let's go ahead and do... Let's do From the Depths, because then uh, if we get Fiery Diva, we'll have a Winds of Magic cost uh, reduction, right? I think that's good. Um, okay, you know what? The Blue Vipers are not as much of a concern. We got lots of money. So what we're going to do is we're going to come this way. These guys may come down here and hit Swamp Town. I can't stop that. Uh, but what we really need to do is get this upgraded. <laughs> 4,000. Okay. And then... Do I want to spend time and energy like trying to upgrade this settlement? Or do I just want to focus on upgrading Siloster and her horde? Now, what does this give us? Not extra growth. Where's the one that gives us campaign movement range? We need six uh, population for that. Because this is two turns, and then this is three turns. They're going to be over here by then. All right? They will definitely be here by then. So, it's almost like we need to bring up another army. But then that's going to kill our income per turn. Well, we're going to play it risky and just do nothing for now. Okay? Okay. Steel technology. Let's go ahead and try that. Hey, look at that. And how long before we get a rebellion in here? These guys, they're going to underground move and just pop right in here. There's, uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, Blue Vipers and Hexwaddle are now at peace. So that means the Blue Vipers are uh, more likely to come after us. Uh, we might also get Hexwaddle coming after us. It's a good thing we're getting the big artillery built. We're going to need it to kill lizards and dinosaurs and stuff. We're going to need a couple cannons and a couple mortars. Uh, Sildur Tor and the Cult of Pleasure have made peace. And I don't know who this is. Is this Avalorn? You know, heading this way now. Makes me a little nervous. Yeah, here they come. Just right after us. Mm, man. It's okay. If we lose some territory, it, it's not the end of the world. Okay. So I think this is where we're going to end this one here. We got a lot going on right now. We got a rebellion. We got these putzes over there. Uh, we do have an agent running around up there. And we have blue vipers um, that could become a problem soon. We only have the one army. I want to get as much done as I can. Uh, with just Siloster, because I want to keep building up our funds, and I want to be able to recruit the best possible army. Like, we're going to be able to get some really good artillery no. with her soon, and then stuff like this is just going to be no problem. So, we'll see what happens when we come back in the next one. Let me know if you're enjoying it with comments or a thumbs up, or if you have any tips or strategies, anything like that. Uh, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. You have a good afternoon and take care.